I'm Gustavo Costa. I'm a musician and from Porto. I also compose some music and also make my own instruments. And I run this place where we are called Sonoscopia. So I <coughs> I started um, as a uh, underground rock musician, like underground in the broadened sense. I I, I developed um, uh, an early taste for um, underground music, and I was uh, especially when I was like from twelve years old until eighteen. I was very much into. Um, the heavy metal world the, and all the underground uh, currents related with that. <coughs> um, so when I was a well, uh, when I was still a child and an early teenager, I was really into drums, and I started to study drums in a in a jazz school here because it was the only uh, school where you could learn drums at at the time. And um, after after that, I well, I I began to um, I was very very into playing drums and into into music. So after a while, I decided to um, just uh, study music. So I went to study classical percussion, and I did the um, the the school at uh, Spinho, who it, uh, where they had an, a very very good percussion school at, at the time and I believe that, that they still have it now and um, after the, um, the professional school in Spain I I was a bit divided into the classical world because I was really not interested in becoming a, just a classical performer so I went to study music, music technology, then I, I went to study uh, electroacoustic music, sonology in Holland, then I studied composition and music theory, and uh, then I went to continue the studies in uh, electroacoustic music and improvisation, something like this. So I began as a, a rock drummer, and evolved into an improviser. Well, um, as, as I said before, I, I began to play uh, music that was somehow uh, strictly written, or it was uh, supposed to be performed in the same way, exactly the, 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 the same time uh, it was going to be performed um, either in uh, the rock world where you had to play rock songs or also in the classical contemporary music world where you had to perform a piece that was going to be exactly the same thing and for me it, uh, there was uh, this um, it was very important to have a musical input from the time and space where I was performing. So I, w I really felt that uh, the same musical composition was not going to be the same if I was going to be performing in Porto or Lisbon or Paris or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of issues that change every time you perform music. And that's why improvised music was so important for me because I was able to define uh, every time I was performing music, uh, a lot of parameters I could control in real time. Because every time you perform music is different and uh, your feelings are different, uh, the people that are listening to your music are, di uh, are different, the, um, the acoustics of the room uh, are different, so you need to adapt to a lot of different circumstances and uh, when I had this experience of playing music that was exactly the same theoretically uh, but if I had to play uh, totally written music I felt it was somehow um, um, restricting my, my, my freedom as a musician
somehow I, I, I started to develop something that was in between composed ideas or structured ideas and improvisation uh, ideas. And I really think that total improvisation doesn't really exist. I mean, you can do uh, free improvisation gigs, but uh, there's a lot of uh, work that, that goes behind uh, improvisation that conditions how you play. And so to uh, total improvisation is, is something that doesn't exist. Uh. Well, I, I think maybe the, the uh, really important thing is um, the musical background, because especially for improvisation is is a kind of um, very specific idiom in in music that uh, it needs to be learned through many processes before you you actually play it correctly, and the first if I need to choose how to uh, musicians to play improvised music maybe this would be the first the first uh, condition are they do they have a previous knowledge of the history of uh, free improvisation um, then of course there's a really important aspect which is the the human aspect uh, how is it a, a easy musician to deal with or not this is also very important uh, because Especially with improvisation, you just you don't you don't need uh, well you you need interesting human beings to to play with. Well, um, what I felt in, in in the last years, and especially here in Portugal, because a lot of the music scene was a bit delayed from other countries in Europe um, because some things only started to happen in the late 80s, 90s and the improvised music scene was like 90s and even today it's still growing so um, I really feel that now it's it's um, things are, are growing and really uh, it, it's much better than it used to be like 20 years ago uh, like 20 years ago it was very difficult for me to find uh, musicians playing experimental music and now it's uh, it's more common although there's there's still the case where um, there's still this barrier between jazz musicians classical musicians and uh, popular musicians or musicians that come from different backgrounds and there's still the this this um, limitation sometimes um I really wish uh, at schools uh musicians were taught to think more about the music they play and uh, they were more uh, they were more trained to be improvisers because improvisation is actually an, e an exercise of your creativity and what do you think about music you have to perform and you have to be able to express yourself and this should be more common, especially in the classical trained musicians. This this should be, at least for me, this should be clear in in the early stages of the instrument uh, learning. And also in jazz, there should be a shift be between what's improvisation in jazz, because it's it's very um, formatted into this. Um, rhythmic and harmonic uh, grills where uh, improvisation fits in there should be other ways of expressing improvisation in jazz too so and that that's at the moment are the the two main schools for for musical instruments the jazz and the classical and if there the, i i wish there were a bit more uh, opening to um, um, improvisation expression uh, in, 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 in the instruments